Um, I finished work the other night. Um, and I phoned up Mrs. Blue Van Man and I says, I'm just going up to the co-op. I fancy a can of beer. And I got up there and um, I thought I was being clever. I don't know why, but all I wanted was a cold beer. So, like an idiot, I picked this up. I thought, I'll give that a go. And what it is, it's L for lager from the co-op, right? And it's lager mid-strength French blonde. And there was four cans for £2.29. And I thought, oh, try that. It's a bargain. That's the kind of thing that, you know, if you do just fancy, because what normally happens is I come home from work. And like I said, I'm not an owl kick or anything like that. But I come home from work, and if, it, if I've been sweating like the fat bloke I am, I just sometimes fancy a real cold beer and I neck it in a couple of seconds. So I picked this up and I thought, oh, 229 for four, you can't, you, you know, that can't be bad. Um, it's a 440 milliliter can and it's 2.5 in volume. So I'm thinking, you know, it ain't that strong in beer, in uh, volume and all that kind of thing. It'd be just right to neck in seconds. Well, got home and I thought, well, I'll put it in the glass. And I had no intention of doing a review on this, right? I had no intention of doing a review, um, which is quite amazing. Really. It's normally I don't tell I buy something new. Now I start to do a review on it and sends her mad. And um, so I thought I'll do it. I'll do, I'll, I'll, I had one and I downed it and I, and I couldn't believe it, right? I couldn't believe it. So I thought, now I'll do a review on this because normally I don't, anything I do is, you know, I do it straight away. I don't read about it. I don't look into it as such or anything. I just, the only time I look into it is where I can buy it and if it's a new idea. So I got this home, weren't bothered about doing a review, £2.29. I thought, we well, can't go wrong. How wrong was I? <sighs> right, you tip it in. Right, now it's quite fizzy which is okay, which is fine. It's fine, that's by me, it's fine. It's, it looks... I think we've all done things better than that colour in the morning, haven't we? I mean, poor light, I might, I'm doing it in the window, folks, because I think the light's pretty natural. So anyway. There you go. Can you see that better now? And that look very appetising, does it? That does look like something you get up and do in the morning. And then the bit, the, the, the head looks like bubbles. You know when you've put, looks like bubbles out of washing up? When you've done the, you got, and it, it, it does. It just, I, oh. so anyway, I mean, I'm being a bit harsh here for £2.29. But then you, but then you drink it, and you know what it is like. It is typically, it is typical, typically like, you know, skull, 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 skull. If you haven't seen that, look it up, YouTube it after this skull advert, and it tastes like skull, and it's been watered. It's fifty fifty. If this is what, I don't, I mean, French blonde, what is that? What is French blonde? This. this I mean, if you tip it up far enough, you get a right good head on it. But there is, there's no gas. There's no taste. There's no flavour. There's no body to it. It just smells of watered down beer. So what I'm saying is, folks, really, is if you see it and you think, oh, bargain, £2.29, £2.29. I'm drinking it thinking it's going to get better. You would have to drink. 
probably a hundred of these. You would have to drink a hundred of these to get anywhere near drunk. I hope this isn't the future of beer. I mean, people, people have been to France. I can't say I have. Well, is this how beer tastes in French? Is, that, is it French blonde? Is that a beer? Disappointing. Anyway, £2.29, folks. What I'm basically saying is, you £2.29, um, double it up and get Foster's or Carlin. Don't bother with that. If you think that's a bargain, it ain't. Ladies.